Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack, and today I'm really excited. Do you know where we are? We're at the Houston Interactive Aquarium, and I'm standing right beside a giant lemur. Check that out. That guy is really big. So here at the Interactive Aquarium, they have all kinds of animals, and every single animal here you can touch. How cool is that? Come on, let's go check it out. All right, so here we are inside, and they have a whole bunch of different buildings. Each building has all kinds of different critters in it. We're gonna get to see all of those. I'm so excited. Come on. Look at this right here. What does that look like? That's a gigantic clam, that's so cool. You can come in here and take a picture for mom. Hey mom! <laughs> all right. Well, the first building we're gonna check out today is the aquarium portion. They have all kinds of saltwater and freshwater fish. They have stingrays that we're actually gonna get to touch like this. Come on, let's go check it out. Whoa! I mean, take a look around this place. This is incredible. This is amazing. I see all kinds of animals all over the place. Do you guys see a pirate anywhere? I kind of feel like there's a pirate somewhere right up here. <laughs> all right, well, let's look at all these fish. Wow, look in here, there's all kinds of fish. Hey, like I said, this is the Houston Interactive Aquarium. So you can get food to actually feed the fish. Do you guys want to feed some of these fish? I bet they're really hungry. These are little bitty krill shrimp that we're going to feed them. They like them a lot. I got to let them know that we're here. Oh, there comes our first fish. All right, guys. Whoa! That was really cool. You guys see all the different colors of fish? I see neon blue, I see yellow. They're really pretty and really colorful. And these are all saltwater fish. <laughs> They're eating right out of my hand. Take a look from down below. That is so neat. All you do is you hold the shrimp, put it in the water, and they come and eat it right out of your hand. Come back up here. Let's see if we can convince one to take a jump. Whoa! Whoa! He's coming right up to the surface. All right, let's give them a couple more and then we'll move on. I don't want them to get too full. <laughs> All right, that was a whole lot of fun feeding those fish. They look so happy to be getting some food. Whoa, look at these guys. You see what those are? Those are actually called remoras and they actually suck onto the sides of big, big shark in the ocean. So if you ever see a shark swimming around and they've got little fish stuck to them, that's these guys, and that's how they suck on right there. That's really neat. All right. Hey, let's go in this cave. Whoa. Look over here. I see even more fish in here. And back there, there's even a couple of sharks. Look at that really pretty yellow one right there. He was hungry. Oh wow, look at that guy's colors. That's so neat. He's orange and white and black. It's so cool because you get to touch each and every fish that they have. That means we might even be able to touch a shark here in a minute. Let's go back over here and see if we can get some of these stingrays to come hang out with us. I'm gonna go back through the cave. Woo 
Look, there's a whole bunch of stingrays right on this other side here. Walk by this big waterfall. <laughs> Wow, guys, there's a whole lot of stingrays down there. I'm going to see if they want to wake up and come eat. Look at that guy. He's kind of buried in the sand down there. Oh, here comes one. He's hungry. Here you go. Look at his little mouth. That was so cool. Look, here's another hungry guy. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Come on, stingrays, we got more food for you. Here comes a bigger guy. Whoo, his little mouth got me. That's so cool, we can even pet him. I got you some breakfast too. There you go, buddy. Wow, he's letting me pet him a lot. <laughs> we got a feeding frenzy on our hands. They're all hungry. Come back over here, fellas. Ooh, I like that guy. He's got good manners. <laughs> Whoops, dropped one. Hey guys! That's so cool. I'm sitting here petting these stingrays. All right, guys. Hey, let's go grab some food and see if we can get the sharks to come eat. <laughs> hey, come over here. There's a shark right here. Let's see if he's hungry. I'm gonna drop one down to let him know we're here. He must be sleeping. He didn't even feel that drop right on him. <laughs> I don't think this shark wants to wake up. Let's go see about this other guy. Sometimes you gotta just roll up the sleeves and go touch a shark. I think the sharks are still tired. Here's a couple of really active guys over here. Let's see if they're hungry. <laughs> the little fishies are trying to take it from me. Come here, Sharky. You guys see what this is coming at me right there? That's a horseshoe crab right down there. Come on, guys. I'm trying to give you some breakfast here. I don't think they've had their coffee yet. They must still be sleeping. There he goes. Normally you wouldn't want to just put your hands in with a bunch of sharks, but these are actually called nurse sharks. They don't have big teeth, so they're actually really friendly. Well, I think I'm just gonna give them a few pieces and let them eat in peace. I don't think they want to hang out with Cowboy Jack today. All right, let's go see what else they have here. Right over here, we have another touch tank. And do you guys see what's in here? 
I see starfish and I see even a big old crab right here. And since this is the interactive aquarium, we can pet anything in here. Wow, the water's really cold. I don't think Mr. Crab likes to be petted too much. Look at this really cool sea star. Wow. He is so big and cool. These guys are really cool to touch. I think they're still sleeping this morning too. But look what I've got back here. You guys see what that is? That's a big old lobster. Woo, hey, Mr. Lobster. Hey, Mr. Lobster. He's got these big old claws, so you gotta be careful because he probably could pinch you. I think he's trying to tell, tell Cowboy Jack hi. What's up, Mr. Lobster? That lobster was really cool, and this touch tank was awesome, but we're just skimming the surface. There's still a whole lot of stuff to see here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my sleeve back down. Whew. Got a little wet, so it's kind of cold. <laughs> wow, guys, they even have a real alligator here. Take a look. Look at him, he's just hanging out down there, having a good time. He's got his own little private vacation pond. You see his big old tooth hanging out of the side? You wouldn't want to come up against one of these guys out in the wild, but he's in this nice enclosure and he's having a good time in there. I think he's kind of tired. He looks like he needs to take a nap. Why don't you get out of the water and take a little break, buddy? <laughs> so all of those fish that we saw in the touch tank and everything else were saltwater fish. These right here are freshwater. They even have a little bit of steam coming out. <laughs> But look at this guy, that's a big old red-eared turtle. You see why they call him a red-eared turtle? Because he has a red side of his head right there. Oh, look at this, we've got some buddies coming to visit us. Hey guys. It's so fun petting these turtles. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Whoa, those are big, big, big fish. Wow. I don't know what these guys are called, but I know those are called Oscar fish. <laughs> this turtle really likes me. Look at him. Hey, buddy. He looks like he's smiling at us. Whoa. Do you guys like jellyfish? I don't like to see jellyfish when I'm at the beach or in the water, but here at the interactive aquarium, they have a tank full of jellyfish. And you can just watch them swim. It looks really peaceful. All right, let's not slow down too much. We've got a lot to see. Here's another big tank with all kinds of colorful fish in it. But I want y'all to see this right here. This is so cool. You remember those seahorses we saw on the front door? Here's some real seahorses and they're just swimming around having a good time. Did you guys know that sharks are actually born in eggs? Well, here's actually a group of shark egg sacs. So inside each of these, there's a baby shark. You can kind of see them moving around. Whoa, there's a puffer fish up there. Wow, take a look at this huge aquarium here. I don't even know if you call this an aquarium. It's kind of like an indoor ocean, really. And then look, there's even a big old dinosaur skeleton down there. Do you guys like dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs. That thing is so huge. 
You know that last tank, we had stingrays, but these guys in here that move really fast, those are actually called manta rays, and we're gonna feed them too. Let's go see if there's any hungry guys in here. Oh look, here comes one now. He went right past me. He wasn't even thinking about breakfast. Wow, look at this big guy coming at me right here. He is really big. Let's see if he's hungry. Wow. He is so big compared to those other guys that we met. He's kind of noisy. <laughs> <laughs> See how they just suck it right in with their mouths like that? All right, guys, he's gonna eat it right out of my hand, just like this. Wow, they feel kind of slimy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab him some more food. Wow. It's so fun getting to pet all these different animals. <laughs> they take it right out of your hand. Oh, here comes another big guy. Let's see if he's hungry. Yep. <laughs> hey, buddy. Wow, look at that fish down there. You see that really big fish? That's a kind of grouper. This guy looks like he's still hungry. He's looking, he's saying, Cowboy Jack, give me more food. There you go, buddy. <laughs> they just can't get enough of it. These guys are really, really cool and they're so hungry. give a little food to the little guys too. Come on little guys. I like this big big guy. He's really friendly. <laughs> I think the word got out that Cowboy Jack's here giving out some food. Everybody's showing up now. <laughs> You see how he came right up and he sucked that food right in? That was so cool. You guys know what his name is? His name is Manny the, the Ray. <laughs> All right, I always like to make sure to feed the little guys. They need to get some food too. Can't let the big guys be the hogs. Did you see him? He was just waving at us. <laughs> He looks like he's smiling at us. <laughs> oh, come here, little guy. I got you some food, too. Big guy's hogging the show. <laughs> Wow, look at these really bright yellow fish down here. They're really pretty. If you look way in the back and on the bottom back there, you can see some little bitty sharks swimming around. This guy right here just can't stop. He is so hungry.
these are such amazing animals. They just skate right through the water. And they're really friendly too, so you can just come right here and give them a nice pet. Wow, do you see this shark right here? Oh, he's kind of hiding out. He's right down there. It's a little bit too close for us to get to see now. There he is. Wow. That looks like a sand shark. He's really pretty. I'm gonna throw in a piece of food for the shark and see if he can get it. Oh wow, look at that shark. He's got a really unique shaped head. All right, wow. Well, I've fed almost everything in this building. Isn't that crazy? It was a lot of fun. These guys look like they're smiling at us with their little bitty mouths right here. All right, well, we've seen a lot of fish, but that's not the end of the show. There's a whole lot of other stuff to see. They have a couple of lemurs. You guys know what lemurs are? Let's go take a look at them. All right, guys, let's go find those lemurs. We gotta go through this area first. Look at all these ducks. They've got a whole bunch of ducks in here. Wow, they've got their own ponds and everything. And if you look up, you'll see all these white doves hanging out on the little ropes and everything. Wow, there's so many birds in here. But I wanna see those monkeys, come on. Woo, excuse me, ducks. Quack, quack. <laughs> Guys, take a look at this. There are so many colorful parakeets right up here. Wow. I bet we could get a little bit closer to them inside. Come on, let's go. So this is where all the lemurs and a couple of other critters are kept. Let's go on inside. Whoa. Guys, look at this. There's two toucans right up there. Do you guys know what a toucan is? It's a tropical bird. You might have seen them in the movie Rio. And they have really long, colorful beaks. They're such pretty birds. Woohoo! I almost walked right past it without even realizing they've got two bearded dragons right down here. Three bearded dragons. This is where some of those really colorful birds are. Wow, there's a whole bunch in here. Looks like a great home for them. And then here's those lemurs I was telling you about. They're all up here. Look, here's a guy right over there. He, he looks like he's about to come say hi. Look at him climbing right across that rope ladder. He looks like he's having a good time. He might be going to check on his buddy who's hanging out in that little hammock right there. He's saying, hey, you're crowding me in, you're crowding me in. Sorry, my tail's in the way. <laughs> wow, I'm in here with some black and white rough lemurs, and this guy's grabbing Cowboy Jack's hat right here. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at him, he's having a real good time. You wanna come hang out on my shoulder? No? Look at these guys, they're really big. They're really fun. Whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> I've got all these lemurs right here in my lap. What's up, buddy? Smelling my face? You guys have any questions about these guys? Any crazy things you want to know about them? So where are these guys from? These guys are from Madagascar, which is a small island right off of Africa. These guys are from Madagascar, you hear that? That's really cool. Have you touched them yet or not quite yet? No, I haven't. You should go ahead and touch with that two fingers right along your back. But now that you've touched them, who would you say is softer, these guys or a cat? 
I think these guys are pretty these soft. Guys, the reason why they're pretty much as soft, you're probably softer than cats, is because they actually have two tongues. They got one tongue for eating and tasting just like we do, and that second tongue is almost like a cat's tongue. So it's combed and barbed, and they'll use that to clean themselves. Wow. Did you guys hear that? These guys have two different tongues. One for eating and one for cleaning themselves. I think they really like Cowboy Jack. Look at this guy. <laughs> Hanging out right on me. Come on up, buddy. Wow. I've got a lemur right on my back. <laughs> now he's trying to go up on my hat. This guy's coming in for a ride too. I've got a lemur hand right here in front of me. <laughs> that is so neat. Whoa, he's wobbling a little bit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down, bud. Ah! You know, this cowboy hat's used for a lot of different things. It's never been used for a lemur seat before. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. This guy's just really hanging out with me. He likes me a lot. I love how these guys stand up on their back legs. That's really funny. It's crazy because they do have fingerprints just like we do. So if you were to give them a phone, more than likely they could put their fingerprint right inside of it. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> look at his big old hands right on me. They look a lot like our hands, except they have hair all over them. <laughs> I think he's found a comfortable spot to hang out. I'm covered up in lemurs. <laughs> all right, well this lemur encounter has been a whole lot of fun. This guy's been with me ever since I sat down. I think he really likes Cowboy Jack. All right, buddy. Well, I can't stay here and pet lemurs all day. I got to get going. I'm going to go ahead and stand up, all right? There you go. <laughs> all right. That was a whole lot of fun. Have you guys ever seen a monitor lizard before? Sometimes they're called dragons. Check out this big guy right here. That's a really big monitor lizard. I think it's a monitor lizard. I know it's some sort of monitor lizard. I just don't know if it's a savanna or some other kind. Whoa. Hey, you know what else? Those lemurs are pretty wild, riled up now that we left. They look like they're having a good game of tag right there. <laughs> These little monkeys love to play. That's really funny. All right, guys, so we were just walking around in here looking at all these different animals, and I came across a red tegu. Do you know what a red tegu is? I don't either, but I know it's a big lizard. He's right here on the floor. Wow, look at him. You can see he's covered in all these scales, and he's got really unique feeling skin. It's kind of like leather, kind of like my vest. He's got these big old feet and big claws, probably so he can climb all through the forest. Wow. That's a big red tegu. Actually, I don't even know if it's a big red tegu. That might be a really small red tegu. We're gonna have to look it up and find out. But I couldn't just walk by him and not say hi. <laughs> hey guys, look at this cockatoo right here. He's really pretty. <laughs> That's actually called an umbrella cockatoo. Let's see if he'll lift his hair up. Hi, buddy. There he goes. Look at that. <laughs> wow. And then this over here is a sulfur-crested cockatoo. He's not quite as social today. He's feeling a little bit, I don't know. He's not happy that I'm hanging out with him. <laughs> All right. Wow, there he goes with his awesome headdress again. And then this guy's a full-blown parrot. Look how pretty he is. Do you guys see what colors he's got on him? I see blue, yellow, and green, and even some black. His beak is black. Wow, he's really pretty and he's got really long tail feathers. Look at those tail feathers go. <laughs> wow, he's really cool. <laughs> they have even more animals outside here at the Interactive Aquarium and Zoo. You see what I'm standing next to right here? That's a little bitty camel. <laughs> wow, he's really tall and he's got a long, long neck. Hey buddy, how's it going? Looks like he's got some flies on him. He's trying to get off with his tail and trying to kick around a little bit. There he goes. <laughs> I 
Wow, that camel was really cool, but there's even more animals to see. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Do you guys know what this is right here? That's a big old ostrich. Hey, Mr. Ostrich, how you doing today? You look like you're smiling at me. I'm Cowboy Jack, your ostrich. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> He's got a really long neck. I don't know what he's saying to me. I don't speak ostrich. Look over here. There's an emu right over there. Emus are kind of like ostriches, but a little bit different. Oh, look. Guys, come check this out. There's baby ostriches. Look at these little guys. They're really neat. I don't know how old they are, but they're definitely not as big as the big one over there. They look like they're sticking together and gonna come say hi to Cowboy Jack. Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> Hello. Again, I don't speak ostrich, so I don't know what that is they're saying to me, but I bet they're saying, hey kids, I hope you're having fun watching me at home. Hey guys, here we are with some Patagonian cavies. I've never even heard of a Patagonian cavy, but here's one right here. Wow, it kind of looks like a rabbit and a kangaroo mixed. Look at him, he's really cool. He's got these super long legs. Ah, he's like, so long Cowboy Jack, I don't care. But look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy coming right up to me. Hello, Mr. Patagonian Cavi. How are you doing this morning? Smile for the camera. This guy looks like he wants a little Cowboy Jack attention. Hey, buddy. Wow, their hair is really, really soft. That is so neat. Whoa, like he got scared of me for a second. Hello, Mr. Patagonian Cavi. Come over here for the camera. <laughs> wow, that was really neat. I've never seen a Patagonian cavy before. Have you? I don't even know where they're from, but I bet because their name is Patagonia, they're probably from Patagonia. All right, let's go see if there's any other animals we can check out. Hey guys, well I'm in here actually with some pigs and a warthog. There's a real warthog right here. His name is Ed Wart. Isn't that funny? You hear him talking? <laughs> I think he likes Cowboy Jack's boot. What's going on, buddy? Wow, he's got really tough fur. <laughs> I think Ed Wart likes me. Ed Wart the Warthog. <laughs> These pigs aren't too shabby either. They look really young. <laughs> wow, guys, look what I've got around my neck. That doesn't look like a belt. This is a Balinese python. Wow, she is really pretty and she's got really soft, scaly skin. I don't know where she's headed now. Let's see where her face is. <laughs> I'm gonna turn her around here. Just... Now she's got a mind of her own. She's a live animal. She's going kind of all over the place. <laughs> wow. Look at her go. She's climbing Cowboy Jack just like she'd climb a tree out in the forest or the rainforest. Wow. Smile for the camera. <laughs> that is so neat. Wow, thanks for letting me hold you for a minute. That was really fun. 
All right, guys, we've seen a whole lot of animals. We've touched a lot of animals. We've fed a lot of animals. It's been all about animals today here at the Houston Interactive Aquarium. And here I am back up underneath the giant lemur yet again. Wow. Well, today has been so much fun. I hope you had a blast. But until then, Hey, come on, let's go. Let's all go. Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack, and today I'm really excited. We're in Bryan, Texas, and check out where we're at. We're at the Herp Shop. That means they have all kinds of really cool exotic animals and reptiles and all kinds of stuff. Do you guys like looking at turtles, snakes, lizards, chinchillas, and maybe even a wallaby? They have it all right in here. Come on, let's go check it out. Wow, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Like I said, they have all kinds of critters in here and they can teach you about all these animals too because it's important. We don't just get pets, we have to care for them and love them and make sure they're healthy and happy. Wow, look at this. When you first walk in the door right here, there's a panther chameleon right there. Look at him. He is really cool. Come look at him from over here, he's showing off. Whoa, did you see that? He just stuck his tongue out. He was getting a little snack. The cool thing about chameleons is their eyes can turn in any direction and that helps them find food and watch for prey. Here's another panther chameleon, he's really cool. And then this guy right here, he was recently just featured on the cover of a magazine. He's famous. He's got beautiful coloring and he's a really unique animal. Wow, <laughs> I don't even know where to look. So right over here, they have all these different kinds of rodents. These are, this right here is called a daegu. Look at that. He's just hanging out, taking a little midday nap. Oh, he says, hey, Cowboy Jack, what's going on? You woke me up, leave me alone. <laughs> and look at this guy, he's just trying to get a little stretch. It's important to stretch. That's another Daegu. It's called a sand pie, and that's a female right there. They have all kinds of different critters. All right, guys, well, like I said, they even have a wallaby here. This little guy's name is Grant, and he's playing with some keys right now. What's going on, Grant? You like those keys, buddy? He really likes his belly scratched right here. Can you step up and say hi to everybody? <laughs> so he kind of looks like a kangaroo, but wallabies are a lot smaller. He sure can hop around real fast though. Can you show us how you can hop? Well, you don't have to. I don't want you to have to show off. You really like these keys? They're pretty cool. Oh, you give me a high five? See, look at that. He's got really big paws. Can I just look at your paws? And he's got these big nails. He's just kind of sniffing me and checking me out. What's up, buddy? This is like a high five from a wallaby. I've never had a high five from a wallaby before. His name is Grant and he lives here. Well, he actually goes home with the owner, <laughs> but he comes here so you can come here and interact with him because he's a really fun guy. He's got this great soft fur and what an amazing temperament. He's just kind of like a puppy dog. You can hang out with him. He likes to show off. He likes his keys, obviously. <laughs> you like to smell Cowboy Jack? Hey, don't bite my shirt. <laughs> He's got these really big back legs. I wish he'd stretch for us so we could take a look at him. Come here, buddy. Come here. Look at that. <laughs> I 
like a big old puppy dog. And see, he's standing on his back legs right there. You gonna smell me? <laughs> Very unique character this Grant is. And he's got a really long tail too. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come on. <laughs> there he goes, look at him hopping. All right, guys, this is actually a baby chinchilla. Well, he's not a baby, but he's very, very young. Chinchillas have this incredibly soft fur and this really cool bushy tail. Look how bushy his tail is. I think it's fantastic, but his hair, I just can't get over how soft it is. This guy was actually born here at the shop. and He's got a brother and his mom and dad, his dad is actually right here. He looks like he's taking a nap right now. He, he said, these young whippersnappers keep me up all night. I just love this guy. You know what's really unique about these is that they're actually from a mountain environment and they don't take a normal bath. What they call it is an ash bath. They use volcanic ash and they kind of splash around in it to keep clean. Wonder, hey, would you show us what it's like to take an ash bath? There he goes. Whoa, he's rolling all around in that volcanic ash. And that's like how they get themselves clean. He looks like he's having a good time with it. <laughs> kind of like a puppy dog playing in the mud, except it's ash. <laughs> hey, buddy, you changed colors. You're all color. You're all white now. Ooh, there it goes. Get that all over you. See, and that's actually how they get clean. They roll around in that. That seems different because we use soap and water, but this guy uses this ash. <laughs> you feeling clean already? There you go. Sorry, I didn't mean to mess up your bath. <laughs> wow, guys. So we saw those young chinchillas, but this is actually a baby. He's about two days old, was born right here at the shop. Really teeny tiny, but he'll grow to be big and fluffy just like those others. He is really unique. I just love hanging out with him. He's so teeny tiny, he's barely even got his eyes open. I better get him back with his mama. <laughs> All right, well, here we are with a bunch of different tortoises. So this guy right here, these two guys are pretty young, but these are actually the second largest tortoise uh, family in the world. So these guys will actually grow to be, I mean, come look at this. I'm standing on this big mat. They'll grow to be almost 700 pounds and half the size of this mat. So like from me guys to you, that's huge. That's a gigantic tortoise. And like I said, these guys are just young. They're little. They're not anywhere close to full grown, but they're really cool and they make fantastic pets. They live a really long time. See, I'm scratching him and he's standing up and I'm like, oh, hi, Cowboy Jack, thanks for the rub. This right here is Louise and she's a red-footed tortoise. She's really cool and she's actually full grown. She's not gonna get any bigger than this. She's really sweet, good old Louise. And over here we have Oliver. Oliver is an, uh, another one of those other turtles and he's pretty big. He's gonna get to be almost 250 pounds when he's full grown, so he'll be pretty big. He's already pretty big. Wow, what's up, Oliver? You having a good day, buddy? These guys right here are Russian tortoises. Well, only one of them is out right now. There's another one back here in her little cave area, but these are Russian tortoises, and they're full grown. Their names are Cheese and Crackers. Isn't that cool? They're really personable critters. 
like to hang out with people. Hey, cheese, come over here. Yeah, I hear a cracker rolling around back in there. <laughs> All right, well, those tortoises are really cool. I saw something very unique right here by the door. Look at this right here. These guys are incredible. And you know what's very unique about them is that they're actually, you know, the, the species is threatened and, and they're not doing so well. There's actually more of them in captivity than there are in the wild. I forget exactly what they're called, but they're from Mexico. All right, now this is the front of the shop, like where you would pay and check out and buy your items. But they actually have some really cool animals right here in the case of it, right underneath. See, as you can see, she's sunning on the rocks and there's one more in here, but they actually think that she's down in her cave area and actually sitting on some eggs because she's going to have some babies. Isn't that really cool? We can keep exploring and looking all around. Whoa. Now, Cowboy Jack getting really that comfortable with spiders, but look at that really giant green bottle blue tarantula right there. She's made this really unique web. I don't understand the purpose of that web, but she's really worked hard on it. And it's a very cool spider. I just, ooh, I don't like spiders very much. But they have a whole lot of them. Here's another one right here. Wow. What do we have in here? We're covered up in spiders. There's a curly hair tarantula, a pink toe tarantula right here. Oh my goodness. And tarantulas actually make really good pets. You just have to know how to care for them. And I don't know how to care for them. But right over here, they have all these different milk frogs and mossy frogs. You have to work really hard to find them because they like to hide themselves in there. Oh, here's a milk frog right there on that back leaf. You guys see that little milk frog right there? Might be a little bit hard to see, but he's in there just hanging out on a leaf and enjoying his day. Now, if you like snakes, we've come to the right place. Right here's a ball python named Hershey. And this snake is actually already 21 years old, a, a ripe old age. Wow, so this is a curly haired tarantula? That is so cool. So these make really good pets and they actually are very calm as long as you're calm with them. So you don't want to make any sudden movements while you're holding them. And they're going to just hang out with you and have a great time. So this is actually what they call a Goliath bird eater tarantula. And that's the largest species of tarantula in the world. And they are just so cool. What great, amazing, majestic animals. But I'm just not going to hold it. I don't think she wants to be held. But just for comparison's sake, I'm gonna put my hand right here. And you can see she's almost as big as my whole hand. That is crazy. Wow, and there's all kinds of different things around here. Like these frogs, let me see if I can find them. Oh, there he is right in this back corner right here. You can see that little guy back up there. And then there's even more tree frogs. Oh, this is a dumpy white snowflake tree frog. He's sitting in that dish, just kind of hanging out, being a frog. He doesn't really want to be seen, but he's right there for us. Oh, you gonna come out? I think he's just sitting up because he knows we're looking at him. Well, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Cowboy Jack, your dumpy white snowflake tree frog. Nice to meet you. <laughs> now this right here is amazing. I used to be fascinated by these. That is a bumblebee colored dart tree frog, like a poison dart frog. He is right there. He's really colorful, bright yellow and black. Great colors on him. Now look right here. This is incredible. I have always loved red ear slider turtles since I was a little boy. These are actually albino red ear sliders. You can see they have no pigment in their, in their skin or their shell. And these are actually bred in captivity because they're so very rare. But they're teeny tiny little guys, real turtles, and they're absolutely albino. And if you can look down here, there's a regular red ear slider right there. And he's swimming around and see normally they're green with that red patch on the side of their head. But those other guys are completely albino. So look right here, cowboys and cowgirls. This is my friend Basil. She's a bearded dragon. And she doesn't want to come out right now, but I just wanted to say hi to her. 
She likes to hang out in her log and just kind of do bearded dragon stuff. A lot of folks have bearded dragons as pets and they make fantastic pets, but like we talked about, reptiles are not you know, your traditional type of pets. As long as you know how to care for them and know how to take care of them and feed them right and get them the proper environment they need, they can live a very long, happy life and be a fantastic animal and companion for you. Wow, snakes, ah, look at this guy right here. All right guys, well this is a boa constrictor and her colors are really beautiful. This is like the natural coloration of them. And see what she's doing is she's climbing all over Cowboy Jack. I don't know where her head is right now. Right here. See, and what she does is she's a really good climber so that's why she's wrapped around my hand. She wants to check out the camera and say hi to you guys. What's going on kiddos? <laughs> but she is really pretty and what an amazing snake. But this is actually the same type of snake as this giant snake right here. Just a different coloration. So when she gets a little bit older, she may be that size too. Wow. Ah, you're kind of squeezing my hand. Well, it's not just a clever name. They're called boa constrictors because they wrap themselves around so that they can uh, get their food. They're really beautiful animals. All right, guys, so this is actually a seven foot long reticulated python. She is beautiful, has this awesome yellow skin, and she's just checking out Cowboy Jack. She says, I've never met you before. Your leather vest is a little bit unique, but she is so pretty, and she actually has the potential to grow to be about 20 feet long. Isn't that crazy? I mean, she's a really big snake right now, but like we said, she's only seven feet long, and once she gets to be 20 feet, I don't even know that I'd be able to hold her anymore. Wow, she's able to hold her neck out really far like that. This is so cool. <laughs> wow, one day I've never held a reticulated python. The next day I'm just hanging out with one, having a good time. All right, well, I'll let you back in your cage. You don't seem like you're having a great day with Cowboy Jack. What do you think, girl? Thanks for letting me hang out. This is another reticulated python, but it's just a normal coloration. So not gold like that other one. And this is a male. So he'll, be, he'll grow to be all the way as big as 15 feet. Not quite as big as that female, but wow, what a beautiful pattern and really cool colors. Argentina, uh, females will get around three and a half, four feet long. Males can get up to five feet long. Black and white, blue and white mixed together make an ice. And then you add albino to that, that's what she is. Okay. Uh, the blue, um, the purple albino, um, you, there's red and white and blue, uh, blue and white, mix it, purple, and then you make your purple albino. Um, this is a red. Um, this one is a baby red. This is what you normally would see. Um, and that one right next to it is black and white. Those guys are more of a normal color. Okay. Um, more easier to find than these guys. These are great. And then they eat lots of meats. Um, they'll eat turkey, they'll eat beef, they'll eat chicken. Wow, so um, they're carnivores. They, but they also eat fruits, strawberries, blueberries, watermelon. Um, they eat mice, they'll eat bugs, they eat basically anything except for lettuce. Okay. They, I mean, that guy, his favorite thing is watermelon. Like, hands down, he would shout out. Wow. So this is another Argentine tigu, and he really likes watermelon. I wonder if he spits out the seeds like I do. Probably not. <laughs> Looks like he's having a little afternoon sunbathing slash nap. Sounds like what I need to do right now too. So check out this bearded dragon. He's just hanging out, kind of doing his thing. He's very active. He likes checking out my finger, and he's just really having a great day. Partially blind. Oh, so she's partially blind? It's because of the albinism, um, they can be like that. So if you see her, uh, when I do give this to her, she'll like go uh, try to eat around it before she actually eats it. Okay, so what are you giving her right there? This is a frozen banana. Ooh, looks tasty. She's probably gonna drop it a few times. Mm -hmm. She thinks everything is food you stay in. 
<laughs> she thinks everything is food, so she's eating my tongs and my, not my fingers, because that hurts all the time. Ooh, very feisty girl. Guys, come look right here. She is really enjoying that frozen banana right there. And just like us, it's really good to eat bananas. They're full of potassium and great vitamins for you. Wow, check out this guy. He's being really active. He's thinking, hey, everybody else is getting fed. What about me? There's a lot of them in there. Are you trying to wave at us? Hi. He said, hey, I didn't, I didn't sign a waiver. Why am I on camera today? Well, you're a natural, buddy. That's why. <laughs> and those guys back there are just hanging out, taking in the sights and sounds, saying, hey, Cowboy Jack, nice to finally meet you. All right, buddy, well, I'll see you later. Stay cool, you wanna give me a high five? Yeah. Nailed it. Um, Crescent geckos, when they have their tails, they can use them as a, a limb. They're oh, wow. They can, they're very cool animals. He, you will just have to kind of go with them, don't hold them too hard, and if he jumps, I'll keep my hand in there. Okay, wow, so this crested gecko is really cool. And he's just, he likes to climb, so I have to make sure to Give him something to climb on and support. I don't want to keep him out too long because he does have the potential to jump and I wouldn't want to let him do that. Come here, buddy. Wow, never seen a crested gecko before. He is really unique. Got these amazing little hands. Kind of looks like dog hands. But I better let him go back in his cage because he's, he's a little bit stressed out. He's thinking, Cowboy Jack, I've had enough of you. All right, well, crested gecko, nice to meet you. Whoa, see, he jumps just like that. This is a gargoyle gecko, so they can also use, their, use and lose their tails. Whoa, yeah, caught him. She's pretty jumpy as well. <laughs> wow. Um, they have the same kind of care as crested geckos, but they're a little bit more rare. They do not, uh, you don't see these as often because they're kind of hard to breed in captivity. Wow, look at his eyes. Those are really unique. I know you want to hang out with Cowboy Jack, but you're coming a little bit close. What a unique critter. I don't want him to get you can too far. Wow, look at that. Can you say hi to the camera? Whoa! <laughs> that is really cool, a gargoyle, gargoyle gecko. Whoa, quit trying to jump on me. The leather vest isn't gonna work out for you too good. Um, she'll, you'll see her change colors in a little bit, a little bit. Um, to be more red, she usually isn't this white. She was just sleeping, so. <laughs> I couldn't care less what color she is when she's sleeping. Wow, that is really cool. And she's way bigger than this guy. This guy just wants to, he probably stays small because he's so busy jumping around. Yeah, she's actually not. Uh, she's still a baby as well. Wow, so this is, is this a full grown gopher nope. snake? She's a baby. Wow, baby gopher snake. He does move a lot. Yeah, you're not getting away from me. Quit trying to squirm. Wow, you are a feisty gopher snake. Although this is the first gopher snake I've ever really held, so I don't have any point of reference. But he seems a little bit excited. I better put him back in his cage. Very nice to meet you, buddy. <laughs> They're usually not yellow. They're a brownish color. He's an albino speed type. He will get a... He's not full grown. He'll get about the size of a softball. Uh, and he is grumpy. Wow, so this grumpy Pac-Man frog, like she said, will get to be about the size of a softball. That is so big. And they like to burrow down and wait for prey. They don't like to have to work for it. So they just kind of hang out down there. And when they get the opportunity, they'll pounce on something. But they're a really large frog. And like I said, Pac-Man frog. See, he's... He even looks a little bit grumpy, don't you guys think? And they do have teeth. Oh, wow, I didn't know frogs had teeth. Just Pac-Man. All right, well, in that case, we better leave Pac-Man alone. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you, Pac-Man. <laughs> wow, we've met a whole lot of different critters. This is crazy. Wow, guys, so that's a mossy frog right there, and if you can look at him, you can tell exactly why he's called.
called a mossy frog? He kind of looks like a piece of moss, but he's actually a living, breathing thing. Wow, right up close and personal with the mossy frog. And even their eyes are camouflaged, if you can see that. You can barely even see where his eyeballs are, so he must be a really good predator. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, we've had such a great adventure here today at Herp Shop in Bryan, Texas. We learned all about exotic pets and how to care for them and how unique all these different species are. It's been a really educational and fun time. I even got to hang out with a wallaby. That's not something I came to Bryan, Texas and expected. And until next time I see you, yeah! Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. Do you guys like animals? I love animals. We're going to see a whole bunch of different kinds of animals because do you see where we are today? You see what that sign says? It says the Learning Zoo. We're here at the Learning Zoo in Conroe, Texas and we're going to get to meet all kinds of animals. It's going to be so much fun. I bet we'll see lizards, snakes, birds, turtles, pigs, goats, chickens, maybe even a cow. I don't know. Come on, let's go check it out. All these animals don't take care of themselves. They have to have a zookeeper, and that's who we need to meet. So come on. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, Cowboy Jack. Hey, this is zookeeper Drew. He's a good friend of ours, and he's going to show us about all the animals we have here at the Learning Zoo. All right, well, let's go take a look. All right, come on. All right. All right, follow me. And we can meet our first animal. This is Olive. She is a kind of parrot called a sun conure. A sun conure parrot. Wow. And she is from South America. They fly through the forest eating fruits, nuts, berries, and sometimes they'll even eat a bug. And she uses that big beak to crack open nuts and seeds and to grab onto branches as she's climbing. Wow. Olive is really neat. Do you guys see all the colors that she has on her? I mean, she's got a lot of colors. I see green, orange, red, yellow. She's a beautiful, majestic bird. Wow, hi, Olive. How are you doing today? <laughs> she doesn't feel like talking today, but I bet she's glad to meet us. <laughs> all right. Olive was such a beautiful parrot. Wow, I'm glad we got to meet her. She looks really cool. Whoa. <laughs> this is one of our biggest lizards. His name is Ajax, and he is a rock iguana. A rock iguana, wow, do you guys see him? Oh, Zookeeper Drew is picking him right up. He looks like he's comfortable, just like a puppy dog. These lizards are really, really friendly and they aren't scared of anything because on the island where they live, they don't have any predators. That means no animals are trying to catch them or eat them, so they don't have to run or hide from anything. Wow. Can I pet him? Absolutely. What was his name again? Ajax. Ajax. Hey, buddy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I think he likes me. <laughs> he does and he loves flowers. If you want to grab a hibiscus flower from one of those bushes. All right, Ajax, you hungry, buddy? He is a vegetarian, so he eats fruit and flowers and vegetables, and he loves anything that's bright red or yellow or orange. Wow, he, he took that down in no time flat. Ajax, mm -hmm. you really liked that, didn't you? <laughs> that's so cool, buddy. And he is covered in scaly skin that keeps him from getting sunburned or from uh, getting scratched or scraped when he's crawling through the rocks where he lives. And these big claws on his hands and feet help him grab cliffs and rocks so he can climb. Oh, looks like he's trying to climb on me. <laughs> wow, how much does Ajax weigh? He weighs about eight pounds, so about as much as a small cat. 
Wow. And he is only two years old, believe it or not. These lizards grow really quickly, and he is as big as he's going to get, but he could live to be over 60 years old. 60 years old? Ajax, you're gonna be an old guy, buddy. <laughs> wow, I wish you guys could feel his skin. It's really unique and scaly. It feels really cool. I love his big claws, too. It looks like he's wearing gloves because he has black scales on his hands. Yeah, and he's got longer fingernails than I, I do. <laughs> Wow, Ajax is really cool. Thanks for letting us meet him. Thank you, Ajax. <laughs> That's the biggest lizard I've ever seen. He was really neat. I love the way he took that flower and just ate it right up. All right, would you like to meet some tortoises? Yeah, let's meet some tortoises. Do you guys like tortoises? You, you might be more familiar with the term turtle, but these aren't turtles, they're tortoises. These are our red foot tortoises from South America. And they also like flowers. I'm going to grab this yellow flower and give it to Mango. He is a male red foot tortoise, and he loves to eat flowers. He loves to eat flowers. He also eats fruits and vegetables, mushrooms, and sometimes when he's eating fruit, he swallows the seeds whole. And then he carries those seeds through the forest and he drops them in another spot and they sprout and grow into a new plant. Wow, so they can even spread the plant life as well. Exactly, and that helps all the other animals that live in the forest with them, like parrots and iguanas and monkeys and even people who eat the fruit off of the trees. Hey guys, did you see something sneaking up behind Zookeeper Drew? Looks like another tortoise is coming to hang out. You're right, this is Topaz. She is a female. So you can see her shell is a little bit of a different shape than Mango. Oh yeah, his is more like a U shape going down at sharp corners and then hers is more rounded out. Yeah, his shell gets narrow in the middle and hers stays wide all the way through. And when <laughs> they get scared, they pull inside their shell and cover their face with their front legs to protect it. Okay. And that way, animals that want to eat them can try to claw or chew on them and they can't hurt the tortoise. Wow, that's really cool. It almost sounded like they were sneezing when they did that a minute ago. Mm -hmm. When they pull their head in really quickly, they push out the air in their lungs so that they have room for their face. <laughs> you guys come get a good look at how long their necks are. That's really cool. Cowboy Jack, do you know what a tortoise's shell is made out of? I don't. What's a tortoise's shell made out of? It's made out of bone. It's actually part of their skeleton, just like the bones in your arms and legs. And it grows with the tortoise their whole life. They're not like a hermit crab that will leave and find a bigger shell when they get large. Wow, so no matter how old they get, it keeps on growing? Mm-hmm. And Whoa. they never come out of their shell. Cartoons sometimes show that, but their shell is attached to them, so they can't leave it. Well, Zookeeper Drew, I think you're real popular with these tortoises. Mm -hmm. real popular. <laughs> Look at those guys, they're, they're lining up like a buffet. And the reason they're called red foot tortoises are these bright red spots on their legs. And each tortoise has a unique pattern. No two have the same spots in the same place. And they use that to tell each other apart. Huh. So Mango can tell Ginger and Topaz apart from what their front legs look like, just like you would tell two people apart from their faces. Well, that must mean these tortoises are really good at counting because there's all those different spots. Do you guys know how many tortoises there are right here? Let's count them real quick. There's one, two, and then what? Yeah, three. Three tortoises right by me. Wow, that's really neat. And we have a baby coming over to say hi. Oh. This is Citrine. She is the smallest tortoise that we have out here and she is only four years old. Wow, four years old and she's the youngest. When she hatched out of her egg, she was about that big and she has grown a lot since then, but she'll keep growing and she could live to be over 80 years old. This is so much fun here at the learning zoo. Every animal that we meet, I'm learning something completely new that I never knew before. Isn't this great? Wow, I'm standing in the middle of some pigs and goats. 
What kind of pig is this? This is a Kuni Kuni pig from New Zealand, and her name is Pua. And wow. she is named after the pig in the movie Moana because that is the same breed of pig. Kuni Kuni pigs are from New Zealand, and their name means round and tubby. They love to eat fruits and vegetables. They eat grains like uh, rice. And they also like to eat hard boiled eggs and other meat. They're omnivores, just like us. Wow, her hair is so scratchy and rough. Mm -hmm. But it hair. makes a really pretty pattern on her. That hair protects them from the sun and from getting scratched when they run through thorns. And they use their nose to find food. <laughs> I think this guy likes me too. Mm -hmm. That is Penny. She is nine months old, so she's still a baby. And Pua just turned one last month. Wow, a lot of birthdays here at the zoo. Mm -hmm. A lot of birthdays and a lot of birthday cake. <laughs> I think Penny really likes me. That's really fun. I love these pigs. Pigs are very, very smart so they can learn their names. They can learn tricks. They can learn to walk on a leash. And they can be house trained like a dog. They can be house trained like a dog so they can live inside? Yes, and they'll tell you when they need to go outside and use the bathroom. Wow, that's better than my little boy Caden does. <laughs> <laughs> These pigs are so great and they're so happy that we're here. They really like this brush. We've seen one of these brushes before. They're really flexible and have these little notches on them and it feels really good like a nice massage for the animals. They really, really like it. Wow. This is Jolly. She is one of our goats. Jolly the goat. Look at her up here. Goats <laughs> are really good climbers. So they love to get up here where they can see everything from far away. And sometimes they'll jump straight down to the ground, but they won't get hurt. I was going to say, this is no small feat. So if you look, we talk about this a lot. Cowboy Jack is about six feet tall. And this wire reel is probably what? Four, four and a half feet tall? And she got right up there, no problem. <laughs> you like my cowboy hat? Hey. This is one of Jolly's sisters, Pixie. And their other sister, Trixie, is... <laughs> Hmm. Oh, there's Trixie over there. She's laying down. Pixie, Trixie, and Jolly are triplets, so they were all born at the same time. Wow, is that something that usually happens in goats? Usually goats have twins. Um, sometimes they'll have three or even four babies at a time. <laughs> I think Jolly really wants to take a bite of my cowboy hat. I she think likes she it. does. She <laughs> likes to nibble on things to see what they're made of. She is such a sweetheart. I really like her. Hey, Jolly. Good to meet you, girl. Now see, she's got these two horns on her head. That's really neat. And those horns are made of the same thing as her hooves. On her feet, she has two little hooves that she uses to run and climb. And those are actually her toenails. Goats and other animals with hooves walk on their tiptoes like a ballerina. And that lets them run really quickly. <laughs> Boy, I just love these goats. I think they're getting jealous over Cowboy Jack's attention they're giving them. Hey, wow. So glad we got to meet them. I wish you guys could feel them because their hair is actually really soft. It's not like what I was expecting. A lot of goats that I've petted in the past have had pretty, hey, he's trying to eat Cowboy Jack's shirt. No, ma'am. <laughs> A lot of goats have hair that's really rough. These are actually very, very soft. It almost feels like I'm petting a puppy or a kitty. So cool. Is that a cow I see back there? That is, that is Adeline. Would you like to meet her? Yeah, let's go meet Adeline. Bye goats. Look at this beautiful calf. She's all white and really pretty. Wow. This is Adeline. She is a three month old Watusi cow. And that breed is called the African Longhorn because when she gets bigger, her horns are going to grow really, really wide and really thick at the base, and they use them to cool off in the hot African sun. How do they use their horns to cool off? 
their horns are full of blood vessels. So blood pumps through their horns, and as the wind blows across it, it cools down that blood, and their heart pumps it back into the rest of their body. <laughs> wow, I think she likes me. Mm -hmm. I've never, I've Very never great. petted a Watusi before. This is great. She is still a baby, and she drinks milk, just like most baby cows, but she doesn't drink it from her mom, so she gets a bottle a couple of times a day, and she's starting to nibble on grass and other things that cows would normally eat. So as she gets bigger, she'll start to eat solid food, and then she won't need the bottle anymore when she's big enough. Well, she really likes you. She loves rubbing up against mm -hmm. you. She's just like a big old dog. <laughs> you guys see how she's licking me? Mm -hmm. That tongue is really rough. It's like a cat's tongue. It has hooks on it that help pull grass into their mouths when they're grazing. <laughs> Did you guys see her little teeth too? She's got a bunch of little teeth in there. Do you see what's at the end of her feet? I see some big hooves, well, right? Just like the goats and the pigs, cows have hooves too. <laughs> and her tail is like a fly swatter. So if a fly lands on her back, she can whip that tail around and smack it. <laughs> well, my buddy the goat is over here trying to take a taste of my jeans. That's so funny. I felt something pulling on my leg and then I turned around, it's just a goat. <laughs> Well, here I am right over here, and I've got this cup in my hand. Do you guys see what I've got? What kind of vegetable is this all cut up and nice? That's a squash. What is this guy? He's long, orange, probably pretty crunchy and tasty. That's a carrot. And then right here, I've got a leaf of lettuce. What would I be doing standing outside at a zoo with a cup of different vegetables? Yeah, I'm gonna feed a tortoise, come on. Wow, this guy is really big. Yes, he is our biggest tortoise that we have at the zoo. His name is Master Ugwe, and he is an African spur-thighed tortoise. You see these big spiky scales on his legs? Mm -hmm. Those are spurs, and that's his thigh. So he's a spur-thighed tortoise. And I think he got a little bit spooked and he went inside his shell. <laughs> these tortoises live in Africa. So they need to protect themselves from lions and hyenas and leopards. So if he gets scared, he'll hide inside his shell just like that. And they can try to claw his shell, they can try to bite it, but he is safe inside it. And he carries that around with him all the time. So he never has to worry about finding a place to hide. Wow, he's so big. How much does he weigh? He weighs almost 100 pounds. 100 pounds? That's like half of Cowboy Jack. Well, okay, a little less than half, because maybe Cowboy Jack's a little bit more than 200 pounds, but he's really big. But he only eats grass and vegetables. He loves lettuce leaves. Let's see if he'll come out of his shell for us. And he is going to take a big bite out of this lettuce leaf and pull a chunk off and leave a nice big V-shaped bite in it. like that. Did you guys hear his bite? It was like a big old crunch. He will use his tongue to pull that into his mouth. I guess you've got to be pretty careful. You wouldn't want him to take a bite of your finger on accident. He wouldn't do it on purpose, but you're right. If he accidentally grabbed my finger with some vegetables, it would hurt a lot. <laughs> wow, he is such a beautiful animal. How old does he get? He is 25 years old now and he could live to be over a hundred years old. A hundred years old. Every single animal we meet here at the zoo seems like they're getting older and older. This guy lives to be really old. Can I feed him some of this carrot? Yeah, go ahead. He loves carrots. Okay. He will crunch that. And if he takes a really big bite, he might use his foot to push down on it so he can pull a chunk loose. 
Whoa, look at that. He bit it right off of there. Sorry, buddy. Master Uwe used to be somebody's pet, and when he was smaller, he lived with them, but as he got bigger, they didn't have space to keep him, and he ended up escaping and going into a, uh, a park in southern Texas, where it was really hot and dry, which is just like where they're from in Africa. And he lived there on his own for almost 20 years, and he grew and grew and grew until he got to be this size, and then one day, somebody was taking a walk in the park, and they saw him. And they knew that there were not supposed to be giant tortoises like this in that park. So he was found, and he came here to the Learning Zoo, where he would have a good home, and he can get snacks like carrots and lettuce from people who visit. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. I think I'm trying to make it easy on you, but I don't know how to do this very well. <laughs> there you go. Did you see He's... how he put his foot on it and pushed down? Yeah. That helped him snap that carrot in half. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he takes such big bites. That's so neat. Maybe let's switch over to the squash so you don't get a little too antsy with Cowboy Jack. Tortoises <laughs> don't have very good eyesight. They can't see things that are too far away from them. And that's why they really like to eat things that are yellow and orange and red, like flowers or squash, or carrots, because it's easy for them to see. He took that right out of my hands. He said, hey, Cowboy Jack, look out, I'm hungry. <laughs> you dropped it. See how he spots that yellow squash sitting on the ground? Yeah. He's gonna go get it. Let's take another look at him eating a lettuce. That was really neat. He likes to tear that right up. That's so cool. There we go. Such a big, beautiful animal. Wow. You're looking at me like you want some more to eat. Okay. Tortoises almost never stop eating because most of the food they eat doesn't have a lot of energy in it, so it takes a lot for them to feel full. And so they spend all day eating grass and weeds and flowers, and sometimes they even eat cactus. They really like cactus if it doesn't have spines on it. But if it does have spines, they will figure out a way to get around those. <laughs> even eating cactus, boy, you must be really hungry. I wouldn't eat a cactus. <laughs> Wow, what is this guy, Zookeeper Drew? This is Darwin. He is a green iguana, and they are a big lizard that's really common in uh, tropical rainforests in Mexico and South America. They live up in trees because they eat leaves, and they're hiding from animals that want to eat them that live on the ground. So if they're in danger, the first thing they do is climb up a tree branch, just like a squirrel here. Wow, he's got a lot of different colors on him. I see green and brown. He looks like he's just hanging out, having a great time. He looks so relaxed. <laughs> he's definitely watching us to see if we're gonna bring him some food or if he needs to tell us to go away. When iguanas <laughs> get nervous or they want you to leave them alone, they puff themselves up to look really big. And if you get closer, they whip you with their tail. Oh. So that'll be a, a polite smack on the hand to warn you to not get any closer. <laughs> All right, well, I don't want him to smack me with my, his tail. That would be really weird. <laughs> All right, Darwin, well, it was nice to meet you. I don't want to bug you too much. I just wanted to say hi, buddy. <laughs> He's really cool. He's really big. <laughs> Thank you.
This is Chester. He is an Australian carpet python. He's Aust called a carpet python because his skin is really brightly colored like a carpet. Is he friendly? He is. He enjoys the, uh, climbing on people. He likes to smell people with his tongue. <laughs> you see him sticking his tongue out? He's yeah. seeing what you smell like, where you've been, what you've been around. Well, Chester, I tell you, I've met a lot of goats today and they really liked me, so hopefully you like me too. <laughs> he is a really friendly snake. He lives in Australia and he climbs trees most of the time. So as he's climbing, he wraps his tail around a tree branch, just like this. And if the branch his body is on breaks, he can grab on with just that tail to keep himself from hitting the ground. Wow. And then he will stretch out to another tree branch and keep climbing. It looks like he likes to stretch his neck out real straight. He does. He's trying to get over to those tree branches inside his home. He looks really, really neat and really strong. He is. Snakes have a lot of muscle running all down their body, and he's a constrictor. That means that when he finds food, he's going to grab it and hold onto it with his mouth, and then he'll wrap his body around it and squeeze it really, really tightly to make sure it doesn't get away. And then he swallows his food whole. He eats in one big bite, and he will eat things that are bigger than him, like this big around. <laughs> How does he get his jaw around something that big? Snakes can open their mouths really wide. You can probably open your mouth about that wide, and he can open his mouth about that wide, and his bottom jaw can open out too. It can open to the sides and go down. So he can swallow things that are three or four times bigger than his head in one bite. He is really, really cool. You know what his favorite saying is? <laughs> now, Cowboy Jack, a lot of people are afraid of snakes. They think that they're scary or that they're going to hurt them. And some snakes do have a venomous bite. That means that they will shoot venom into something when they bite, and that can make the thing that they bite very sick. But Chester is not venomous. He doesn't have any dangerous poison in his bite. And even snakes that do, don't want to bite people unless they're being scared. Snakes only put things in their mouth if they're eating or if they're defending themselves because they don't have any arms or legs to kick or scratch. Yeah. Well, Chester, you don't have anything to be afraid of with me, buddy. I like you. I think you're really neat. <laughs> wow. He is so, so cool. I'm so glad we got to meet him. Hey, Chester, thanks for hanging out with us, buddy. I really appreciate it. I think he appreciates it, too. <laughs> I'm going to put him down on the ground, and you can see how well he climbs as he goes back to his home. Wow, let's watch Chester climb. Wow, look at Chester go right around that branch. He's really fast. He makes it look like a dance almost. It's really fun. I still you can tell he spends a lot of time in the trees. He knows exactly where to wrap his body around it to let him pull himself up. And he's going to try and stretch his head all the way up so that he can get back to where he was. Oh, he's using that branch like a headrest right now. He's really clever on where he places his body so he can climb. Snakes are very, very smart when it comes to figuring out where they want to go. And he has to know where his tail is, where his head is. He needs to keep track of where his body is so he doesn't tie himself in a knot. Cowboy Jack, do you think he sleeps during the day or do you think he sleeps at night? Hmm. Well, he's awake right now and it's daytime, 
But I bet he prefers to be awake at night. Is he nocturnal? He is. He comes out at night to look for food because that is when birds are sleeping in trees. And he will go through the tree branches. And if he finds a bird when it's sleeping, he'll catch it. Wow. Because he's not able to fly. And if a bird sees him coming, they'll take off and fly away. And he'll be left there in the tree. If he can sneak up on them when they're not expecting it, he's much more likely to catch his dinner. So just like Zookeeper Drew just told us, Chester is nocturnal. Do you guys know what nocturnal means? Nocturnal means that he's awake in the nighttime when you're asleep, and he's asleep in the daytime. So right now would be his normal bedtime, but he just came out so we could say hi to him. But now he's gonna get all snuggled up there and take a good nap before nighttime comes around. That's really neat. Wow, so what are we looking at here, Zookeeper Drew? This is Toothless, and he is an Asian water monitor. Water monitors are a kind of lizard that live in Southeast Asia, and they are related to Komodo dragons. He's just a baby. He's only two months old, but he will get bigger, and he will get about six feet long when he's fully grown. Six feet long? Wow, he wouldn't even fit in this cage anymore. You're right, and he is a predator. He hunts for all kinds of other animals. He loves bugs, like this cockroach over here. He's smelling with his tongue, just like a snake, to see what it is. We'll put it down and see if... Oh, it's hunting it. It's chasing it. I think it went and hid under that log. But I have another one here. Let's see if he wants to eat that. These lizards are really good swimmers. That's why they're called a water monitor. They live around streams and swamps and lakes. And they will eat insects and fish and frogs. Alright, so you're not going to eat the roaches. Cool. I'm going to give him a quail egg because he loves the taste of egg. Let's see, he's smelling it with his tongue. Looks like he's getting really excited about that. He is. I think he might just want to come out and hang out with you. <laughs> he's climbing on my hand to see where that food smell is coming from. But he doesn't realize the egg is right in front of him. As he gets bigger, he'll eat larger fish and he'll eat birds and mammals like rodents and he'll even eat snakes and smaller lizards. I'm trying to let him know that the egg is inside the shell. These lizards are usually very smart. He knows that when I show up it means he's going to get fed, but he might not be hungry today. I gave him a lot of fish and shrimp yesterday, and he ate until he was looking really round. And I think he's saying it's not quite dinner time just yet. Mm -hmm. well, I will leave that egg there for him if he wants it later. And I'll put these bugs right here so he can eat those later if he feels like it. Okay, so what are we holding there? This is Pokey. He is a short-tailed opossum from South America. Wow, is he a marsupial? He is. He looks a lot like a rat or a mouse, but his relatives are animals like kangaroos and koalas and the opossums that live right here in Texas. <laughs> he looks so tiny. He's really neat. He is almost full grown. He's about five months old and these possums don't get very big, but they're a lot like their cousins here in North America. They have whiskers to help them feel around in the dark. They have a long nose to help them smell, big ears to hear sounds at night, and they have a prehensile tail that wraps around things when they're climbing. <laughs> he doesn't look like anything like the possums I'm used to seeing. No, and he doesn't play dead either. When he feels like he's in danger, he opens his mouth up and shows all of his really sharp little teeth to try and scare away a predator. <laughs> but he isn't going to bite. It's just a bluff to try and make them go away. It looks like he's got such a pretty coat. He is very, really, very soft. really soft. He feels almost like a hamster. But these marsupials are omnivores, so he eats both plants and animals. 
He likes fruit like watermelon and berries, and he'll eat insects, and he also likes to eat a little bit of meat or eggs. So he'll get cooked chicken or a hard-boiled egg every once in a while. And he comes out at night to forage for food. He climbs around in the trees, and he has little claws on each of his fingers to help him grip the tree or whatever he's climbing on. Wow, he looks like he's having a great time with you. Wow, I'm so glad we got to meet that short-tailed opossum. It was really cool to see. <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls, we've had such a great time today here at the Learning Zoo in Conroe, Texas. I've had a blast. We've got to see so many different types of animals. We've seen amphibians, reptiles, uh, we've seen goats and mammals and pigs, all kinds of stuff. I can't even name them all, my head's spinning. But anyhow, I hope you had a great time. But until next time, yeah! Hey, come on, let's go. Let's all go to the Cowboy Jack show. Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, it's me Cowboy Jack and I'm really excited. We have a super fun adventure today. We're here at the Cockrell Butterfly Center at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. So we're standing right outside of this incredible experience. All kinds of butterflies are right up there. Look, it even says right there, the journey begins upstairs. So what are we doing down here? Come on guys, let's go check it out. Wow, I just love, these walls are really colorful. I see a banana spider at the top of the stairs. That's exciting. Wait a second. There is a giant grasshopper up here. It's not real, so we don't have to be scared. Look at this thing. Wow. That is a huge grasshopper. Could you imagine if you encountered that guy out in the wild? Well, we wouldn't. This is a super sized one, but it looks really cool and it's fun to get to see all the different parts of a grasshopper's body. Wow, this shows what a spider's head looks like, how many eyes it's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eyes. Wow, you and I only have two of those. That's not fair, they have eight of them. see a lot of really cool butterflies right here and I get I bet we'll even get to see some real ones Ooh, this is fun this is a little exhibit to test how good your eyes are you're supposed to be able to find some bugs can you guys look through here and see any bugs I see a butterfly or maybe a moth right there Ooh, and then I see a beetle climbing on a branch but wait a second, right below that beetle is another really big moth. Have you guys ever heard of a stick bug? There's a stick bug right on that stick. You see it? You know why they call it a stick bug? Because it looks just like a stick. There's another moth. Wow, these creatures are so well camouflaged and that really helps them because all of these bugs would be a really tasty treat to a bird, but they don't want to be eaten, right? And so they hide themselves in their environment so that birds can't find them. How cool is that? They have all kinds of bugs in here, like a giant jungle nymph. Look at that guy. A giant long-legged katydid. Look at that thing. That looks just like a leaf on a tree. That is insane. I mean, if that was hanging out in a tree, you really wouldn't see that guy. Wow, there's all kinds of critters in here. A giant prickly stick. Wow, it does look just like a prickly stick, doesn't it? Ew, look at this guy, look at this guy. He's right here for you. A dragon-headed Katie did right there. There's all kinds of critters to check out. Even though this is the butterfly exhibit, they have all kinds of bugs here because it's really fun to learn about the bugs and they do so much for the environment. I know they can be a little scary sometimes, but they're actually pretty harmless. Well, there are a few that can hurt you, but for the most part, they're pretty harmless and they do amazing things to help our ecosystem. Ew, ew, look at these guys. 
These are giant hissing cockroaches. They make all kinds of weird sound like Ew, you wouldn't want to find one of those in your kitchen, would you? Let's leave those guys alone. Wow, this is their wall they call Beetle Mania. They have all sorts of beetles here. Look at all these crazy beetles. Beetles range in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. They're really, really cool. Like, look at this guy right here. That's a huge beetle. That has a number six below it. So I'm gonna see what number six means. Oh, those are all scarab beetles right there. So all of these guys are known as scarabs. That is so cool. Some of these guys have such long wings. Ooh, I couldn't imagine if that guy was flying across the room at me. I would really be nervous. Although I know he can't hurt me, he's just really big and intimidating looking. Some of these have such great colors and they're shiny. So cool. Even more beetles, but look at this guy right here. A Hercules beetle. Look how long his nose is. That is crazy. Ew, this guy has like a weird long pincher. It looks like a crab, or, crab claw right on the front of him. Yikes. Ooh, right here they have something really cool. I, I'm just fascinated by these creatures. We've seen them a couple of times before. Look at that back there, that's a desert hairy scorpion. Now those actually have a stinger. You see that bulb on the back of his tail? You wouldn't want to get stung by that because it would hurt really badly. Ew, guys, look at that. A giant African millipede. That thing is humongous. I bet if it was stretched out from end to end, that would be over eight inches long. That thing is huge. And they have a ton of legs. Could you imagine just getting all, ew. Ooh, I found a really cool tarantula that we can look at. That's a Chilean rosehair tarantula. They're really fascinating creatures. Did you know that some people even keep them as pets? They're a little bit too scary for me. Have you guys ever seen a roach before? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them in there. I'm glad they're in there and not in our kitchen or somewhere, but ewie, look at the backpack there, all over the spatulas and spoons. Ew. That's why we never leave a mess in the kitchen. We always clean up after ourselves and don't leave food lying around because these little creepy crawlers will sneak out there and try to eat up everything you leave behind and you don't want them in your house, right? Ooh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies thinking about it. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, that was a whole lot of fun. But now we're fixing to go right into the Rainforest Conservatory. We're gonna get to see butterflies. There's even some reptiles and really cool animals out here. Come on, let's go. Wow, now it feels like a rainforest out here. It's pretty warm. Wow, guys, look at that butterfly right there. He's just hanging out on a leaf, having a great day. There's actually all kinds of butterflies all around us. Look at the one, oh, well, oh that one's flapping his wings. He's taking off. Oh, guys, he's coming right here. All right, guys, well, that was just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much to see and do here, here in the simulated rainforest. I mean, did you know that we're standing right at the top of a waterfall right here? Look at this, there's the waterfall coming down. I can't even see where it goes, but if you look that way, you can see just tons of butterflies flying all around in here. This is so neat. I've never been to the rainforest before, Wow, and I just love all these different types of plants. Now, I'm not gonna touch them because I wouldn't want the oils in my hands to damage them in any way. But what an ornate, intricate plant right here. Look at all, it's got all these roots going all over the place. This is so cool. 
Oh, safety moment. Now we're going down a lot of stairs. You always want to maintain three points of contact when you're going downstairs. That means at least one foot on one hand on the handrail and, a, and two feet on the ground. See, just like this. Whoa, I had a butterfly whiz right by me. Here we are walking safely down the stairs, enjoying all these beautiful plants all around us. Look at these giant leaves. Wow, we are truly getting into the rainforest right now. This is so cool. Wow. Look right over here. You can see that waterfall so perfect up there. Wow, I could watch that all day. You know what? That sounds kind of like my sound machine I like to use when I go to sleep at night. These are so cool. Look at this very unique fern here. I mean, it's got all these spores on the underside of the leaves. Oh, and a butterfly hanging out right there. Wow, look at that guy. Wow, guys, there is just so much to look at and so many things to take in. I mean, everywhere I look, there's a different type of butterfly. Like on the very end of that leaf right there, there's a really pretty black and white butterfly. But it's hard to even focus on him because you look around and there's so many others fluttering around. They are everywhere. You know, they told me if you be really calm and really still and patient, you might even have a butterfly land right on you. How crazy is that? Look, here's a butterfly coming in for a little drink or snack here. Pretty active little fellow, isn't he? He's flapping his wings and saying, man, I just gotta get hanging just right on this. I just can't get over the plants. I know we're here to talk about the butterflies, but just look at all these incredible plants. Wow, this guy has really big wings. Look at that guy. And that really unique pattern helps him camouflage here so not all the predators could find him. What a beautiful animal. And see if you notice, they have all these trays of fruit set out for them because butterflies absolutely love to eat sweet things. Wow, now here we go again, down another set of stairs. And what do we say? Three points of contact. Hand on the handrail and two feet on the ground. Wow. This is so cool. Look at all these butterflies over here. Wow. I bet it's getting kind of loud because we're at the bottom of the waterfall now. Wow, you can even see this beautiful stream running down this cliff face. Come here, guys. I don't want to scare my little friend here, but look how beautiful that guy is sitting right there. You can get really close to them. Wow, guys, I just grabbed an actual butterfly from the Butterfly Flight School. They have a Butterfly Flight School here because this butterfly was actually just born today. He is brand new and he is ready to spread his wings and they're actually gonna let Cowboy Jack release this guy into the, the conservancy. So you guys want to let him go with me? This is going to be really cool. Let's open it up and set this guy free. Oof, gotta be careful. All right, buddy. I don't want to scare him, but wow, guys. He is absolutely beautiful. There he goes. <laughs> that was so much fun. 
And just like I said, that guy was just born today. That means he came out of his cocoon just today and they caught him in here so that we could release him and I could show you guys that. We just got to see him take his very first arm flaps, his very first time in flight. How cool was that? Wow, guys, look at how many amazing butterflies are on this one plant. They are all over this thing. That's a rose apple tree, so they must really like these rose apples. Wow, that guy's putting on a show with his wings. I love it. I love the show, buddy. Thanks for the free ticket. Look at this. We're supposed to keep an eye out for tagged butterflies. So some of the butterflies actually have a number on them and they like to keep track of those guys to see how they're growing and flourishing here in the environment. Wow, I just almost got hit by a butterfly. These guys are all over the place. And this is a really cool, unique plant here. That, I don't know what that's called, but I just love the way it looks. Wow, look how pretty that guy is. And then look right here at this really bright orange guy. This is so cool. I mean, there are literally butterflies all around us. So many, in fact, it's kind of making my head Hey, wait a second, are you guys laughing at my hair? All right, let me put my hat back on. Let's go check out some more butterflies. Whoa, that guy almost got me. <laughs> Isn't this so cool? I mean, it literally feels like we're right in the middle of the Amazonian jungle or the rainforest right here. And we're actually in the heart of Houston, Texas. See, if you actually look out that window right there, you can see Herman Park in the distance. And we're here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science and we're just having an absolute blast here. And what you have to do when you're in this exhibit is keep your head on a swivel. I mean, you'd be looking up, down, all around because we are literally surrounded by all kinds of beautiful, amazing plants, animals, all kinds of stuff. I mean, look how tall the ceiling goes in here. That is really huge and I'm sure you're seeing the sun right now so that's probably not good. But look over there at the vast vines growing all over the place and you see all these amazing butterflies just flying away. This is so cool. Wow guys look at that one. That is so cool. It's black wings but then it has some hot pink on its tail feathers. How cool, well, we all know butterflies don't have tail feathers, but that is a beautiful butterfly with that perfect accented pink on the back of it. That is so cool. Wow, look at this guy. He had, ooh, look out Mr. Butterfly. Look at this guy in that really pretty orange. These guys are just in here living their best life. Here's another one hanging from the branch. If you didn't look really closely, you'd never see him because he blends in so well. He almost looks like he's made out of wood, doesn't he? Wow, guys, this guy landed right on my finger. This is so cool. We can get a really up close look at our little friend here. You guys think we ought to name him? Oh, I don't know what we could name this guy. How about Cowboy Sam? Oh my goodness, look at this. We've got another one. That's two butterflies hanging out on Cowboy Jack. Wow, right on my shirt sleeve. Now what you want to do if they do land on you is just be really calm and still. These animals are so beautiful and majestic. Oh, that guy was scared. Now this guy landed on me thinking I was a tree branch because I was pretending like I was a tree being really still and calm. I'm going to go ahead and put him back on a plant so he can enjoy the rest of his day. You guys say bye to Cowboy Sam. See you Cowboy Sam. <laughs> there you go buddy. All right. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, have we had an incredible time here at the Cockrell Butterfly Center at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. I just absolutely love this rainforest scenario. We've had so much fun getting to meet some butterflies and see them fly around in their natural habitat. So I know I had a blast and I hope you did too. 
and I hope you've come along with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. But until next time I see you, yee